So welcome everyone, welcome to this week's Mantra Medicine. My name is Madeline, it's lovely to connect with you in this virtual realm. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And I missed last week's session, so grateful for those that have turned up live with me today. I'm just going to open up my chat box. Okay, no, I can't do that. And so I've decided over the next few weeks, our theme is going to be meditations for people who do too much. <laughs> many, many years ago, actually before I'd even started doing any kind of meditation practice, a friend gave me this book. I can't remember who the author was. I don't think I've got the book anymore. She lent it to me, but it was called meditations for women who do too much <laughs> and i always thought that's a really good book title <laughs> and topic for meditation so this is over the next few weeks a very simplified approach to meditation and most especially using the power of mantra in our meditation to still our mind and bring more peace and clarity to our heart and our head so we're going to jump straight into the practice so please join me whether it's live or replay welcome you to try this practice and it's all about the connection that we make and so if you can close your eyes actually before you close your eyes i'm just going to show you the hand position that we're going to, it's called the yin yang yin yang hand position so left palm forward wrap your right hand fingers around your left thumb and left fingers over your right fingers and you're going to drop this hand position down below your navel on your abdomen okay this is to connect to our body's foundation area energy foundation area for our body and then if you can close your eyes if you're someone that doesn't like closing your eyes, that's fine as well. You can avert your gaze downwards. If you're sitting, it can be in a chair or on the floor, whatever feels more comfortable. And you're just gonna spend a few moments concentrating, your mind focusing on how you're breathing and not just with the mind focusing, you're actually going to start to really feel with your whole body, feeling of the breath. And just really feel each and every sensation that your inhale and exhale breath is creating. And as you're observing this sensation of your breath, just notice where in your body feels a little uptight or not relaxed. If you're sensing any area in your body that feels a little uptight or it's holding on, clenching, just take your time, take a few moments to pause now and direct your breath into those areas of your body. It could be around your head or neck or shoulders. It could feel tight, clenched in your abdomen. Just observe, breathe, and you have the power to direct where the breath flows to nourish and help release and bring more ease. And over the next few in exhale breaths, slowly allow your mind to really drop into the base of your torso. the first energy chakra area which sits at the base of your torso and see if you can hold your focus there feel your breathing there so 
So this is a grounding practice for people who do too much. And where we put our focus, what we chant, is what we become. So we're going to keep this so simple. We're going to chant the mantra, the message, the focus. One word, Tao. So Tao is not connected to religion. Tao as in the ultimate creator, the source who creates all things. And as we focus and chant Tao, this is creating a pathway of highest connection internally, externally. So imagine there's all of this light, golden light, or maybe you're seeing all different kinds of light coming into your first energy chakra. There's a light ball there. So you're gonna hold your focus in this light ball at the base of your torso. And we're going to say hello to empower this positive, aligned connection even more. So repeat with me. Dear my soul, heart, mind and body, you have the power to come into greater, li greater alignment with the true source, the Tao, the ultimate creation power. Do a good job. Thank you. And when you say hello, make that soul to soul connection with this power. Dear the Tao, which is the source, I love, honor, and appreciate you. Could you please send your frequency and light? to deeply nourish, heal, and create greater alignment between my soul, heart, mind, and body. Help me to concentrate in my first energy chakra as I chant and receive your medicine for my soul, heart, mind and body. Thank you so much. Breathe in. Imagine there is light accumulating into your first energy chakra and hold that light there as we exhale and chant Tao. When you're ready, breathing in. The light accumulates into your first energy chakra. Hold that light as you chant. Down. When you're ready, breathe in. Exhale, chant. Focus on light accumulating into your first energy chakra. Down. Breathing in slowly. 
slowly down when you're ready breathing in down. Focus on accumulating light as you inhale into your first energy chakra. Exhale, chant and relax. Down. Really ground this mantra, sound, vibration into your first energy chakra as we're chanting and visualizing, breathing in. and slow, full, breathe deeply, exhale, chanting, Dao, Dao, breathing in, imagine, see light accumulating into your first energy chakra. The power of the sound rooted in your first energy chakra as we're chanting. Inhale deeply. What we chant is what we become. We're chanting the ultimate source, receiving its energy, its power, its nourishment. A few more times, breathing in. Da your first energy chakra. Da Hold your focus as you breathe in. Da in your first energy chakra, breathing in, exhale, down, down, two more times, inhale deeply, Down. All the 
energy, the sound, vibration, the frequency concentrated in your first energy chakra. Feel into this space, breathe in deeply. Chant down. Da Continue to hold your focus as best you can as you breathe. Imagine this breath in starts in the first energy chakra and flows all the way up the Chong Mai central meridian, central channel to the crown of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine this breath washes down your back, the inside of your spinal column. And do this a few times. You can imagine and feel the breath and visualize light breathing in it travels from the first energy chakra up the central channel to the crown of the head breathing out the breath the light washes down your back and one more time inhale breath light from the base of your torso up the central channel to the crown of your head, breathing out this breath, this light flushes, washes down your back. And observing what is the feeling inside of you after chanting for probably about 10 minutes got no idea what the time is. <laughs> Do you feel more grounded, calm? Doesn't matter if you don't feel those things, that's how I feel. <laughs> but you can share how you feel. Very short, effective, powerful practice using the power of our body the power of our mind with visualization, the power of sound, what we chant is what we become. It's the frequency that we embody, the message we embody. And using the power of soul connection, soul over matter. So we brought all of those elements together for this short mantra medicine practice to help those that do too much <laughs> have a little pause so you can come back and do this practice. Let us properly seal and um, close the connection because we said hello and connected to the Tao, the source. So we say how, 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 which means perfect, be well. And we say thank you and love you to the Tao, the source, the ultimate creator. Power and energy and soul, the highest soul. We thank you. We love you. Thank you for nourishing each of us through our mantra, medicine practice. Please respectfully return. That's just a way of formally acknowledging, thanking and closing spiritually with courtesy. So you may want to just move and stretch your body a little bit and thank you Sheila. She has been sharing this practice and also sharing a few comments for me in the chat box. Um, she said, Madeline, you read our mind. Yes, been doing too much this brought such so much peace and calm thank you love you <laughs> i'm so glad i <laughs> it was quite unplanned actually but um yeah i've been doing too much as well and it's fine to do a lot <laughs> i'm always happy to be productive and effective and to be of service um but you know 
finding the balance is very important as well, especially to top up energetically and spiritually and create an even stronger foundation for our physical body to keep moving, to keep actioning <laughs> what we feel empowered to action in our lives. Lynn said, thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Lynn, for being here. I'm not on my normal StreamYard platform, uh, so I can't see the comments as easily, but I will go back and respond to everyone's comments. So thank you for being here today and practicing. I'll be back again next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, and we'll do another meditation for people who do too much. <laughs> Love you, everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your day or evening. Thank you again, Sheila, and thank you, everyone who's been here live or replay. Love you all. <laughs>